and I got into the room. I was at a different place and I just dropped to the floor and just hysterically cried because it was the first breath of fresh air that I had gotten. Well, hello and welcome <laughs> to day one of my vlog, season two. That's pretty cool. Um, I am here at the Golden Door Spa in San Diego. And I decided to come somewhere new this year. And that is because I wanted to experience different things. I was actually really shocked that I got a spot. And I'm really excited to see what the week has to offer me and all that I will explore. Um, to give you an idea of how this will go, if you're new to my vlog, I guess you could say, because it is season two, that's crazy. Like, that's crazy that I'm doing this again. Um, I can't believe it's been a year. But if you're new to this, um, I'm going to tell you firsthand where I'm at physically, emotionally, probably a lot of what is going on in my life, uh, an insider look, if you will. And I'm going to specifically tell you day to day to day how my brain and body is shifting from today until I leave. And the reason I do that is because there is no better way for you to see this process and actually believe in what regulation gives you and gifts you, as I'd like to say, what better way could you see that than by seeing it on me? And if you know me at all, you know that I live and breathe sensory and emotional regulation and I practice what I preach and I am 24 seven regulating my nervous system and checking in with my nervous system. This is what I do I'm every single day in my entire life, right? And I track other people's nervous systems. So this matters. Um, I hope you'll follow along. I hope you'll watch because you can finally get an in-depth, in-person knowledge and understanding of what it means when someone sensory and emotionally regulates their nervous system. Uh, I talk a lot about on my podcast and on my page and with my clients. I don't really talk about it a lot on my page, but um, the number is three. Three days, three hours, three weeks, three months, three years. I would say that I knew going into Jonathan passing that year one, for example, was going to be a lot of chaos and a lot, a lot of fight or flight. Year two, I didn't really know what to expect for two, year two, but I knew it would probably be heavy. And it was, it was a bitch. Year two was, year, year one was like, like, the chaos kept me going. Year two was like, there's nowhere else to hide. You have to manage this and deal with it and all the things. And year three, which I'm in now, is wildly, wildly different. And so I want you to see what this is like from my talking and my eating and my walking. Like I will tell you specific examples of what I'm seeing and what I'm feeling on a day-to-day -day basis. And Today, now that you know the basics of what this will look like, today I am basically going to tell you and give you a rundown of where I'm at um, within my life and where I'm at within my regulation. And that way you have a starting point and a baseline to see what this looks like day to day. So, I would say that this was me last year too. Um, 
I know one of the first signs for me of either stress, anxiety, dysregulation, or lack of sleep is really the other one. My breathing is not good. And so what I mean by that is I can't take a full breath. Now, I had this last year and there will be a day where I come on here and I might be crying saying, oh my gosh, I can breathe. Um, and it's incredible to see it and witness it and track it. Um, for the past few months, we have been trying to figure out what's even going on with me possibly hormonal um, or who knows what. And so I've had some word finding issues and it's like, I know what that is, but like, why can't I say the word? Which is like the craziest thing to me in the world. But I hope that that kind of dissipates and goes away. Um, I'm definitely walking slower than I have ever walked in my life. Um, I, as you realize these things, you become so innately proud from year to year as you do this work and how you shift and change. Um, I used to live in such a state of fight or flight and that's basically how I lived for, I, God, who, who, God only knows how long. Um, but one of the things I recognized that I did was that I walked really, really fast. And one of the things I've worked on over years, regulation and rewiring and all the things it takes years, all the clients that work with me, I asked them to work with me for an entire year. So they have an entire baseline data of every single season and what's going on in their life. Because if you do too much at once, your brain will go haywire and it won't work. The regulation won't work because it'll be pushing away so hard, so fast that you're like, ah, screw it. And you'll give up. Um, so <clears throat> the walking is a big one. And as I, recognize things a lot of times I do get choked up because it shows how well I am doing um on an emotional level on a neurological level um I listen to all my clients on 3x because I'm so used to it and I listen to books on 2x and I'm saying that because last year, one of the things I recognized was like, oh my God, like, I don't want to listen to books like that. Like, I don't want to listen that fast. And it was part of my brain slowing down and really getting into that regulated state. Um, but I'm definitely back at it. And I think emotionally, I'm kind of shocked that I'm doing as well as I'm doing. Because moving through grief is a bitch. And I remember the first year that I did this for myself was April, May, June. July or August, it was like four months after Jonathan had passed. And I got into the room. I was at a different place. And I just dropped to the floor and just hysterically cried because it was the first breath of fresh air that I had gotten in four months. And that first year changed my life. And the second year changed my life. And I know this will as well for the best. Um, last year, when I got to the place 
I was like, I'm feeling really good. I mean, you can go back and watch season one, right? Um, and it was so incredible in terms of how much more I had to do. Like, it was incredible to be like, wow, like, you thought you were in a really good place when you got there, like, regulation-wise. I'm like, holy shit. And I learned so much about myself in terms of, like, you gotta keep going. Like, there's more. There's more goodness to be had. And I can't explain to you how regulation feels. Like, when you get to experience that and when you get to live that and become more regulated as the years go by, um, it's such a gift. It's, in a way, it saved my life. And... It's given me back the joy in my life and the presence and the peace and the calm and like I enjoy my life. Even the hard moments, like, can you say that for yourself? Like, I am okay in the hard moments and I know this is for a reason, like those hard moments are for a reason and that you get to enjoy your life like every moment and not just say okay I have no idea what this year will bring I'm gonna sound like a broken record because I feel more regulated than I ever have, which is so crazy because like who knows where I'll be at the end of this I guess that means you're sticking around and watch me cry and smile and tell all the awesome things but this is real life and I hope it helps you in some way and that's why I do it so until tomorrow I'm gonna go I think I missed the tour that's totally fine All right, see you tomorrow. Signing off. Bye.